welcome back. Statman Dave here once again. It's three talking points time. Today we're going to be discussing Manchester United versus Reading in the FA Cup. The game finished four goals to nil to Manchester United. Wayne Rooney opening up the scoring. Martial grabbing a second. And then it was the Marcus Rashford show scoring two goals to make it four goals to nil. But anyway, talking points today, we're going to be talking about how Mourinho exposed Yapstam's Reading. Then we're going to move on to United's depth and attack. And we're going to finish off with a bit of Wayne Rooney. Anyway, let's go. So on to number one, how did Mourinho expose Yap Stam's Reading? So let's first break down Reading this season. They've been playing a 4-3-3, but it's very much an offensive 4-3-3, with their midfield being two holding midfielders and an attacking midfielder. Other things that you want to know about Reading is they have the highest average possession in the championship this season. With a lot of the ball coming from their centre-backs, their two centre-backs completed more passes than any other defender in the championship. Other parts of their system is their fullbacks do like to get high and involved in the play, you know, giving the uh, midfielders passing options but also applying width in that final third. Man United exposed this in two ways. First, they played direct balls from central midfield or centre back into the channels. That's the channel between the left centre back and the left back, and the right back and the right centre back. This was a very effective strategy. Firstly, because of Reading's uh, possession based style, their fullbacks are supposed to get high and offer that width. Thus, creating a space between the, the fullback and the centre-half. So when the possession is lost and the, you know, it switches over, they need to transition back into that back four shape. And that's why United were catching them out time and time again. In the first five minutes of the game, Man United looked for four of these balls into these channels. And it became a trend in the game that every time United had the ball, they looked for these passes. As well with these fullbacks, you know, attacking more than defending in the championship this season, it was probably a good strategy by Mourinho to retest really them out going the other way. And it showed with Marcus Rashford, the amount of times that Marcus Rashford got in behind the Reading defence. You know, there were two occasions where he had a 1v1 save by El Habsi or just missing the target. And then, of course, his goal. A brilliant ball from Michael Carrick, one touch out of his feet. Brilliant clip pass in between the uh, right back and the right centre back, and then Marcus Rashford going going clean through and putting the ball past El Habsi. Fantastic stuff from Mourinho and Man United. On to the second way that United exposed Reading in the FA Cup tie. Well, if we look at Reading's midfield shape, potentially there's a bit of problem there. Because they're playing an offensive triangle with an attacking midfielder and two sort of defensive midfielders, there was space either side of those two defensive midfielders because the two wide players that played ahead of them weren't tracking back and they very much stayed as three forwards. This meant Man United had massive space on the inside left channel and the inside right channel. Pretty much taken advantage of by Anthony Martial more than one matter on the right-hand side. Anthony Martial consistently drifted off his runner, um, got the ball and got his head turned and then used his direct dribbling to you know, draw players in, to create opportunities. Go to the uh, Anthony Martial goal, he picks the ball up deep in midfield to the, uh, you know, to the left-hand side of Reading's right central midfielder, gets his head up, plays a 1-2 with Wayne Rooney and puts the ball in the back of the net. But that all comes from breaking down Reading's shape and that massive space to the right-hand side of that right central midfielder, but also on that left-hand side, huge stuff. But they're the two ways that United expose Reading. One, looking for direct balls into the channels, and two, using the channels um, in front of the fullbacks to uh, create chances and get the ball to feet to Manchester United attackers. On to number two, and we've got a talk about United's depth of attackers. For me, it's one of the best in the Premier League, if not the best. I think Manchester City are probably the only team that have the same amount of depth in attack. We think about Manchester United's options. We've got Anthony Martial, we've got Juan Mata, Henrik Mkhitaryan, we've got Jess Lingard, we've got Marcus Rashford, Rooney, Zlatan Ibrahimovic. That is seven incredible attackers and it gives United a great tactical diversity on how they want to break down opponents and how they want to sort of beat teams. So against Reading, Man United set up in a 4-2-3-1 with the use of one matter on the right hand side, Wayne Rooney as a number 10, Anthony Martial on the left and Marcus Rashford through the middle. All those four forwards played very, very well against Reading. First, let's talk Juan Mata. Juan Mata plays on this right-hand side, but it's very much as a playmaker. And he was absolutely fantastic about drifting all over the pitch. He picked pockets of space at number 10. He picked pockets of space on the right-hand side, but more encouragingly on the left-hand side, combining with Anthony Martial. And we saw that for the first goal, the Wayne Rooney goal. Juan Mata picked up a little pocket inside the area towards the left-hand side from the right and that's so difficult to defend against if United are overloading that sort of right back zone with Anthony Martial who is a threat throughout the whole game then Juan Mata coming over there and joining him as well that just caused massive problems for Reading in a defensive sense and the goal 
coming from a Juan Mata cross, two-way really from that left-hand side. But in the first half, Juan Mata had more touches than any other player on the pitch and was really dictating the play. On to the next attacker, let's talk about Anthony Martial because he was absolutely fantastic. So direct with his running, so good at going past running, so good at picking up those little pockets of space and turning. With Marcus Rashford playing the other role of stretching them vertically and running in behind, Anthony Martial was picking up those pockets all day long. I was very, very impressed in how he was dribbling and his control and the skill before that Wayne Rooney goal was absolutely ridiculous. But he also took his goal very well, very intelligent play, picked up the ball, turned, Little 1-2 and then he scored the goal. Fantastic stuff from Anthony Martial once again. Anthony Martial is a big fan of the FA Cup. Since joining Manchester United, he's been directly involved in 38% of United's goals in the competition. Registering four assists and scoring three goals. So let's move on to Marcus Rashford. After his match-winning performance against West Ham, Mourinho gave him the number nine shirt. Yes, he missed two big chances, but... The positive thing was he kept on going, he kept on trying, kept on pressurising, kept on running and that is so positive from a young footballer. Marcus Rashford game by numbers was absolutely fantastic. Two goals scored, six shots, seven dribbles and a 33% chance conversion. It really gives United another option if Zlatan Ibrahimovic isn't fit or if he wants to play Zlatan and Marcus. Why not, eh? Anyway, let's move on to Wayne Rooney, which takes us nice to point number three. Captain Marvel, Captain Fantastic, 249 goals for Manchester United, equaling Sir Bobby Charlton's all-time goal-scoring record. Incredible stuff from Wayne Rooney. But what I was impressed about was his overall performance. Luckily, he got the goal early because he looks a little bit nervous in front of a goal and that sort of settled him down with his overall play. And he was absolutely fantastic in a creative sense. Wayne Rooney created five chances. That was, in fact, one more than the entire Reading team managed combined. But what I liked with his confidence was some of his one-touch play. You know, some of the passes that he was receiving from Michael Carrick then was instantly looking for a through ball, instantly looking for that one-touch over the top to Marcus Rashford. Very, very impressive from Wayne Rooney. Tactically, Wayne Rooney got it spot on as well. He really understands how to move and how to position himself in the correct positions if his teammates do certain things. For example, if Juan Mata drifts to number 10, Wayne really knows that he needs to go vertical and stretch the defence and create that space for Juan Mata. If Anthony Martial comes in, Wayne Rooney is looking to stretch them the other way and go back out to that left wing. Or, for example, Marcus Rashford drifts left or he drifts right, Wayne Rooney becomes that striker. And tactically, it was a very, very good performance from Wayne Rooney and a great understanding for a player that is maturing, but has always done that in his career. You think Cristiano Ronaldo, Carlos Tevez, he had that same sort of relationship. If one of them went out, one of them moved, he would go the other way and keep that um, attacking balance there. But hopefully Wayne Rooney will beat the record against Liverpool, which would be fantastic for Wayne and every single Man United fan on the planet. Well, that has been that, guys. I have been Statman Dave. In the comments below, I want to know whether United can win this historic treble, the FA Cup, League Cup, and, of course, the massive one, the Europa League. If you're new to the channel, please hit subscribe and, of course, like the video.